Hello, and Brick me here with a look at my full RC mod of the Lago Technic Jeep Wrangler set number 42122. As you can see, now you basically get to drive around the car. I did use two large powered up motors. One of them is for the steering, while the other one is for the driving of the wheels at the back. Unfortunately, I did not make this set a 4x4. I only made it a real wheel drive, and this is simply because I didn't want to spend too much time uh, modifying the whole chassis. Even the modification of the back can be a little bit challenging to do, but I was able to make this full RC mod in just about one hour so as long as you have a pretty good collection of all the essential Lego Technic elements then you'll be able to replicate this mod exactly just like how I did and let me show you where you can place all the motors yourself so here at the back trunk area I did place one large powered up motor and as you can see it does have uh, the side sticker from the Lego Technic off-road buggy this is because you know I took these motors temporarily from the off-road buggy and when I do get some more large powered up motors then you know I will put this motor back into the off-road buggy but here at the bottom you can just see one large motor over here which is driving an eight tooth gear which is connected to another eight tooth gear which is then just connected to a differential it's a very easy setup now unfortunately I did not maintain the suspension functionality of the uh, Jeep Wrangler but that is because I did not want to spend too much time on the full RC mod if I did want to dedicate like a full day perhaps uh, to modifying this set then I would completely reshape the whole entire chassis and I would have it be a 4x4 driven by a single motor with suspension so uh, this RC mod can definitely be improved but I'm just showing you right now a quick and simple remote control mod and over here on the side you can see a basic two port train battery box which I did use for the Jeep Wrangler and it just fits really nicely and you are able to close the door nice and flush with everything it doesn't stick out at all so uh, what I do appreciate about my full RC mod is that looking at the car you know with the exception for the back portion over here with the motor it really doesn't look modified pretty much all the shaping of the car was maintained relatively the same if you're enjoying this video so far then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about lego technic i do a lot of remote control mods like for the lego technic ferrari and i actually did release digital instructions for the remote control mod of the ferrari so make sure to check that out but i would not recommend this mod for off-roading because I did not maintain the suspension functionality and it is only a rear wheel drive so it doesn't perform that well in the off-road. But here you can see I have created a custom control interface in the Powered Up app and it does work really nicely however the steering is a little bit tricky. The weird steering mechanism itself as well as the two propeller shafts which connect the steering mechanism to the motor cause a lot of mechanical backlash. And as a result, you're able to kind of turn the wheels without even engaging the motor. The steering is quite tricky on the Jeep Wrangler, especially if you want to have it go at a completely straight line. But nonetheless, it's still really fun to play with, and it's still a really cool car. Here's my code for the Powered Up app. Just copy this code and you'll be all good. The reason why I have so many variables in this code is because I did make the buttons on the custom control interface to be steering adjustment values. So, you know, if the car wants to steer to the left too much, then you press the right buttons and vice versa. I am also planning to motorize the Lego Technic McLaren Senna GTR. So make sure to subscribe so that way you can see how I modify the McLaren Senna GTR. Be sure to check out how I made the 4x4 Xtreme Off-Roader self-park. This is your Unbrick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.